Hey, welcome to Lava Lounge. I'm here with Leanne DeCave. Um, and we were just about a week out from the race and want to chat to you a little bit about a couple couple things. First thing, you've got a, it seems like a bunch of, uh, well, a few athletes have um, NBC crews that are pretty much all around you, all the time. All the time. How are you enjoying that? <laughs> They're like big fat flies on the wall. Yeah. That I keep almost bumping into every two minutes. <laughs> Whoa, you there? Whoa, I got that thing up my ass. <laughs> yeah. It'll make for some interesting uh, yeah, coverage on NBC. Yeah. Um, so, uh, I guess leading into the race, things are, I guess, pretty much status quo. You've, you've, you know, last year you had a fantastic kind of fall campaign, and it seems like you're kind of leading up in a similar way. Yeah, this, kind of thing. this time of year always works well for me across the board. All, all the big races I've done really well in have always fallen towards the end of the season uh, and for some reason the start of my seasons always suck so I'll take the big races over a sucky early season any day of the week. Nice. You don't want to have the big uh, small 70.3 <laughs> mini points race. Yeah, in some yeah, random country that yeah. have to travel around the world for. <laughs> um, and you made a little bit of change. You did a, uh, a lead-up block in Boulder as opposed to well, in, uh, your hometown in Tucson or, or anywhere else. Yeah, I mean, it, was a, it wasn't a whole lot different in that last year I went to Flagstaff and then L.A., but this year I was postponed with... I, want, I still wanted to go to L.A., but um, so I wanted to do altitude and then come down and then here. But just with injury, I just had to postpone all that and end up... I didn't get L.A. in. I got my Boulder in. Um, Flagstaff, I, th I think, is a little high, so that's why I chose Boulder. But um, I was staying on the, I was on the south side of Boulder. Everyone stays on the north. So I, really, I wouldn't even say I was in Boulder. I was technically like 10 miles out, and I had a great time just training out there. I was essentially in a little world of my own, to be honest. Sure, sure. Yeah. Cool. And then um, uh, Vegas turned out pretty nicely for you as well. Yeah. Is that nice bell weather for this race? Well, you know, I was. I'm, I think it's been really mild here, mm. um, and Vegas was hot, and I didn't really feel. The only time in Vegas I felt it was hot was when I had my aero helmet on, and I'm like, damn, I'm really hot under here. But so I feel like I'm I'm really well climatized to this race, um, especially from finding this mild, and I love the heat, the humidity. Grew up in it. It's all good. Yeah, Perfect. I'm ready. Cool. Yeah, I'm so ready. Excellent. <laughs> yeah, just like ticking away at the I hours. know, I just like everything I do now is just like, eh, I've done a little work. I know where I, where I am. I'm feeling good. Cool. Yeah. Well, uh, best of luck on the weekend Thank and uh, look forward to seeing you out there. Cheers. Cool, thanks. Cheers.